Okay, this is a separate segment I did on insertion and removal of an instead menstrual cup. This is uh, the instead soft cup and it's made out of a thin crinkly type of material and what it is is it's worn up inside around your cervix and it collects your menstrual flow in this small bag down here then it's removed and these are disposable some women will use them for more than one use uh, that that's up to the user the company doesn't recommend it but I think it just depends how you feel about it instead cups are sold in, in the United States they're sold in most stores that have a feminine hygiene aisle so go ahead and check your stores for this product that is what the box and the logo looks like so keep an eye out for it okay okay now back to insertion I know this looks big but it's not worn fully opened up like this the way you insert one of these is you squeeze it flat like this and you insert it up inside the vagina This one, you do go past your cervix. And we're looking at this from a top view now. It needs to be hooked around the back of your cervix so that it can stay in place. Now, because this is glass and it's hard and it's rounder, um, it's, it's sort of difficult to demonstrate how it would go up and hook around the back of your cervix. But when you're going in, you want to point this in downward a little so that you can go around your cervix and once you're all the way up at the end of the vagina go ahead and tilt it upward and hook it up around your cervix your actual vagina's upper wall is a bit flat and comes down sort of like this and what happens is an instead cup just forms a, a seal with the upper wall of the vagina like that and the the ring the pink ring is heat sensitive material so it kinda molds to your individual shape and it just collects your flow down inside the little bag you, you can also have clean sex with an instead cup it will be up against the upper wall of the vaginal canal like that and when you're having a sexual intercourse the, the man will be going beneath the cup like this so there's no mess and you don't have to miss out on being intimate during that time okay so for removal what you're going to do is you're gonna grab the instead cup from underneath like this I, I don't recommend grabbing from above because if you do that you can spill okay so grab from underneath like this and push up this time when you were uh, on this end this will bring the end of it down and you need to do that to unhook it from the back of your cervix okay now you pull like this until you're past your cervix and you go ahead and remove it and you can see that this uh, firmer material is firm enough to where you can hold it on one end and it still holds its shape and it won't be flopping down okay now um, for disposal what most women choose to do is again take some take some bath tissue wrinkle it up stuff it inside the cup close the cup around it and you can wrap toilet paper around it and throw it away or as I said before some women will even though the company doesn't recommend it some women will rinse these and reuse them that's entirely up to you so um, hopefully this helped somebody out who was curious about how these are inserted and removed again thank you for watching and feel free to send me a private message and ask me any questions